Comparing field service software can be a nightmare. Trust me, I hear it a lot. But one thing that might be able to help is having the right questions to ask these companies. That's what we're gonna go through today. Hey, I'm Jack. I do work for Comusoft, and in fact, I sell it every single day to some amazing companies across the UK. Having said that, the aim of this video is to give you some truly unbiased advice on some of the top questions you should be asking any job management provider when you're looking for software for you. I speak to a lot of companies who come to me with everything from a basic email of what they're looking for right the way through to checklists. Checklists can be risky because if you take a checklist to a service provider, you're just gonna get a yes or a no. Now, comparing us to other options out there, looking at our websites, you're gonna get a full list of ticks on that spreadsheet straight away. So it's really hard to distinguish which option is the best for you. Some of the things I hear all the time are, can I create a gas safety record on your system? So also I use zero for invoicing. Does that work with your software? Also, can I raise a quote using your system? Don't get me wrong, having a checklist of your requirements is a really good thing to do, whether it's up here or on a bit of paper. But like I said before, it's not the best approach because all you're gonna end up with is yeses from every company because you're really looking on the highest level of what that feature is. What you'll end up with is you'll be making your decision based on how much you like the salesperson you were speaking to and also their price. Now price is something you really don't wanna be basing your decision on, especially for this type of software. This is a really good example of you get what you pay for. An example of this would be purchasing a flat. You're looking to move into a different city, but you don't have time to go and check it out. You're speaking to three different agents, three different properties, and you go to them with a checklist. They're gonna come back to you with ticks or crosses, and you're gonna make your decision, including based off the price. You move into that flat, and two months later, you find out there's not enough storage space, and you've got some noisy neighbors you got to look all over again. So we've given you some idea of what not to ask. I'm gonna go through three of my top tips when it comes to what questions you should ask different software providers. My first one is, are they hanging you out to dry? You've signed up with them. You've gone through getting the account up and running. And now the question is, where do we go now? Some companies, Comisoft included, will give you onboarding and training and support after you sign up. Other providers might not. Training with this type of software is really important because otherwise you're gonna be stuck with a platform that you don't really know how to use. My final point would be to get on a website called captira.com. We'll put a link in the description below. This website is a really great way you can get honest, truthful reviews from actual customers of the company you're looking at. You could also ask to speak with an existing client in your industry or get on a forum or look for a user group where you can chat with the actual users. Here's an example of what you want to watch out for. My second tip is all around growth. Will the system grow as you grow? Every company wants to get bigger, get more engineers on board and sell to more customers. But in order to do that, you have to have a system in place that is not going to crack as you get busier. The best thing is to look for a company who offers lots of pricing options. If you start on one of their lower plans, you're not gonna hit the limit of what the company can offer you because they've got other plans that you can move on to as your requirements change and as your company grows. My third and final tip is all around trial accounts. Are they reluctant to offer you a trial account? Now these are big systems and so it's really hard for them to get a lot of experience from the trial account. But if you ask for one and the company says, no, we don't do them, you've got to ask why. Are they hiding something? Is there something that they showed you on a demo that maybe isn't actually in the system? Is it maybe not as user-friendly as they made it out to be? Let's look at that another way. Let's talk about online shopping. Let's say you're buying some shoes online. You put in your shoe size, you get them delivered a few days later, you put them on, they don't fit. Shock. This is all down to the try before you buy. If you'd gone into a shoe shop and you tried them on, you would have walked away there happy with a brand new pair of shoes. And it's really similar to software. All, a lot of our happiest clients are those who had a trial account and they got to test it out beforehand. So guys, that's it. Hopefully some of these tips have been useful and best of luck going into your next sales call with the software. Actually, one last tip from my end. Try and be as specific as you can with your questioning. Think outside the box and don't be scared to make the salesperson sweat. We all love it really. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't mention Comusoft, so I'll leave a link below in the description so you can check out our short video. Other than that, thanks a lot for tuning in. Check out the rest of our YouTube channel for some great resources. I'll see you next time.